Hello and welcome back. As you can see here, I've gone ahead and opened the attribute table of the suitability bad land use multiple buffer file that we had just created. And you notice that I have these distances in here and nothing else. So what we need to do is rank these. Now to rank them, I need to add a field. So I'm going to go up here to the top left and under the table options, I'm going to click and add field. Now, I do have a convention for my suitability or fields that I know I'm going to add up later is a naming convention. So for suitability, I want to say S, capital S, stands for suitability. B, in this case, it's bad suitability. So if I do an ultimate composite, I know these are the kind of the bad land uses. And I'm going to call it land use. And that's it. So S, B, L, U. So suitability, bad, land use. Now I'm going to make it a double the reason I make mine doubles is later on we may end up weighting these and so if we multiply by decimals and stuff it's just I like to be consistent across my field types and I'm going to click OK. So now I have my field. Now you notice we only have four polygons here because it's created these as unique uh, polygons for every buffer distance so they're all the same shape so if I select say the short one, you can see all the short ones are selected. But I need to get ranks in there, so I need to edit these. Uh, in the past, with lots of information, we did select by attribute and field calculator, but this time it's just easier to type them in. So I want to go up here to a blank toolbar spot and right click, and then I'm going to go down to turn my editor on. You can see it popped up here. So under editor, I want to go down and start editing. I want to pick my suitability, bad land use, and buffer, because that's the one I'm working on. Click OK, and just click Continue. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start down here and click in the cell I want to start with. So I double click, and you can see it gets highlighted in blue. Now, when we were talking in the previous videos about bad land uses for pollinators, the closest it is to that original land use, the worse. And so I have four categories here, so I'm just going to use negative four to negative one. So the first one gets a negative four. I'm going to hit enter. Next one's negative three, enter, negative two, and then negative one. So you can see that I have something that looks like this, four, three, two, one, all negative numbers because they're bad. So then I'm going to go up to my editor toolbar again. I'm going to save my edits so that becomes permanent now. And then I'm going to stop editing. And so that is the process to get um, a variable with a negative ranking for uh, things that are not suitable uh, for this class. And so that's how you rank them. I can now visualize by that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this video here and I'm going to go ahead and prep my other variable which is golf courses because of pesticide use. So I'm going to do this same process of buffering golf courses, adding a field, and then putting a ranking in there. And then we'll come back and talk about how to compile them. Thanks.